Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ansible Meetup. My name is Nikhil Jain. I'm a senior software engineer with Red Hat. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the execution environments and how do you use uh, those execution environments in AWX. So before we go into you know AWX and the demos, let's talk about execution environments. So let me pull up a couple of slides that I wanted to showcase um, in terms of what is an execution environment and how do you create an execution environment basically. Uh, so with Ansible engine, um, it had some advantage of a single package containing everything, right? Um, that is the Ansible uh, with everything batteries included, right? But that is the old Ansible way. <clears throat> But you know, even in those scenarios or even in that old Ansible, you still had to deal with Python and system dependencies, right? Uh, with collection moved out of Ansible engine, um, we need a way to bring everything together in a simple and a portable execution runtime. And this is where the execution environment comes into picture. So automation execution environment uh, are the new base of Ansible automation platform. Um, they are they are a foundational change uh, in how automation is executed and how the environments for automation are managed. Um, execution environment is basically a replacement uh, for Ansible engine. So in this diagram, if you look at, uh, if you see, um, so execution environment is a container image used to execute Ansible playbooks and roles. Uh, it provides a defined, consistent, and portable environment for executing automation. Uh, uh, so what, what does an execution environment contain, right? Uh, it contains a UBI 8 as a base operating system. That's where you see that real universal base image at the bottom of that image. Uh, then it, of course, contains Ansible core, uh, which is the, you know, the core automation language, and that is how you run your playbooks. Uh, it contains Python 3.8, <clears throat> and then it can contain you know, uh, any number of Ansible content, uh, like collections and their dependencies in terms of libraries, if you need them. Um, and this, together, put into a container image, becomes an execution environment. So with this, you know, uh, we solve a lot of problems. Um, so, you know, if you're using, if you were using AWX, which was, you know, some versions back, you had a concept of virtual environments, right? Wherein you would create those VNVs and then you would run your playbooks uh, or your job templates on top of those VNVs. But if you think about it, you know, those VNVs were hard to, you know, it is very hard to port your VNV um, to some other place, right? Um, what you probably would have to do is, you know, tar the whole VNV send it to the other person, you know, the other person would untar it and then, you know, hopefully um, everything is in place because there could be permission permission issues because of you mask and whatnot. So there are there are challenges in terms of portability uh, of virtual environments. Um, and that is where, you know, uh, execution environment solves that problem because now execution environment is a container image which you can, you know, publish on any of the registries and then you know the other person could just download the execution environment and use it in AWS. So it gives a consistency uh, and it gives the a nice portability which, which, which comes with the containers uh, anyways. So those are two major uh, you know uh, problems that we are solving uh, by moving from virtual environments to um, execution environments. Um, and then now, now the now, now now the question comes in like how do we create these execution environment? How do we create these container images, right? So there is another tool called as Ansible Builder, and that is also part of Ansible now. Um, so using Ansible Builder, you can create these execution environments. So you know there is a definition file that you would have to create, uh, which Ansible Builder will use, and depending on what do you have in the definition file it will create this execution environment container image for you. I am not going to go into details of how do we create execution environment using Ansible Builder. Um, that probably is going to be another session at some point. Um, but I will, I, I would like to show you a couple of things um, which Ansible Builder use. Um, so let me pull in my command line. 
Um, so over here, <coughs> I've got a um, execution environment directory that I've created, and this is the definition file that I was talking about, uh, execution environment .yaml. So uh, whenever you create an execution environment, this is how your definition file should be. Uh, and then within this definition file, if you see, there are a couple of things in there. Um, so this is a very important, you know, Galaxy requirements.yml. So this is where you would put all your collections that you want to put into the execution environment um, container image. Uh, and then this requirement.txt is what um, uh, you would put in terms of what Python libraries that you want uh, to be part of your container image or your execution environment. And then this is the base image. Um, so you could use any other base image as your base image and then your container image would be created on top of it. So I've right now commented it, but you can you know use any base image that you want. And then these are the additional build steps that happens um, uh, you know, while the execution environment is getting created or after the execution environment has been created. So let's not go into details of that because like I mentioned, we can you know cover this in, in some other environment. And to create the execution environment, execution environment, uh, you basically run a command, um, a Ansible builder command, which would look like something like this. So yeah, so Ansible builder build, and then you would tag your execution environment, uh, and this is just for the verbosity. <clears throat> so I'm not going to run this command because this is going to take some time for the execution environment to get created and the container image to get created. Uh, I've already done that. And what I've done is after creating that execution environment, I've published it on the Quay. So if I can show you my Quay somewhere, let's see, where do I have it? Over here. So, so I've created an execution environment which has uh, the AWS, the Amazon AWS uh, collection in it so that I can use the collection to run my playbooks and I've published it on the Quay over here uh, with AWS e -E name. So you can pull it using you know, this uh, URL over here. So if I go back to the command line uh, and if I could just show you the requirements.tx, uh, the YAML file, you would see that I am you know, installing this collection in the execution environment um, and this collection is part of uh, the uh, the e image that I have on Quay. So if I uh, use this EE or execution environment, I should be able to use any of the modules uh, uh, which uses this collection. So now, uh, now let's go to uh, the AWX. Uh, so this is uh, AWX that I'm running locally using Minikube. Um, so let me log in into it. Um, I need to get the password for this. So one second. <clears throat> so let's log in. So this is my AWX. Um, which is running locally uh, uh, using Minikube. So now on this AWX over here on the left hand side, you would see an option called as execution environments, uh, which was not there in the earlier or the older AWX versions. So now if I go over here, all I have to do is add the um, new execution environment. So now let's uh, name it as AWX, um, AWS, uh, execution environment and over here for the image I will put the image as the image that I've put in Quay. Oh, sorry. So this image pull you could keep it as you know empty or you could put it as you know always pull container image before running. So with this it before running your job template it is always going to pull up that container image. So basically you will probably add some more time for, to your job runs because you know it is always going to go to the Quay or whatever registry you use, pull up the image, uh, whatever image is there. So you know it will require some time to do that. So I usually keep it like default value and then you know organization is something that you want to put this 
container execution environment as part of um, I can use default because I only have one organization you can keep it empty as well um, and I'll save it <clears throat> so now I have created this execution environment right so now I want to use this execution environment to see whether my playbooks which are using the Amazon AWS collections um, is, is, is working or not so let's go to the project uh, I'll create a new so I've already got a github project which is using uh, AWS AMI uh, module, uh, EC2 AMI info module, uh, which is part of the Amazon AWS collection. And then I'm trying to find uh, the information about one of the images. So let's try to pull this project um, into AWX. Um, so let's copy this project URL, go to AWX add a new project let's name it as aws um, execution environment project i'll keep it all default and then i'll change the source as git i'll put the url save this and now the project update is running so let it pull the the the, the playbooks that i have in the project it has done that <clears throat> now what i'll do is i'll go ahead and create a job template based on this project so aws ami info and type inventory i can just keep the inventory inventory because i want to anyways run it localhost over here i will use the project that i just created and then i will choose the uh, playbook which is the aws ami info which is this playbook so all it does is you know it uses this module to get the ami info right now i am not giving it any execution environment over here uh, uh, so let's save this uh, once i save this i just wanted to show you how it looks like so over here you would see <clears throat> it uses by default the awx ee so if i go to the execution environment over here you would see there are to execution environment which comes by default um, uh, in, in your AWX installation so if you don't choose any of the E's while creating the job templates it's going to use um, the AWX E which is there by default so um, since I have not chosen any E uh, it is just using the default one so I'll go edit this and I will try to use the execution environment that I just created right so let's select that um, and let's save this <clears throat> so now I have created a job template which is using the execution environment that I have created over here this is a custom execution environment um, so now let's launch this playbook or the job template now what it is going to do is it is going to pull that execution environment the custom execution environment image locally once it has done that it will run the playbook uh, that i have done so it has pulled up that image uh, so that's interesting that i am getting an error over here oh so there you see so i have not given it any aws credentials right um, since i was pulling things from AWS I needed to give it my AWS credential to the job template so my bad I didn't do that so let's go back um, edit the job template I hope I've created my AWS credentials over here let's see yes I do have my AWS creds over here so yeah um, this is my AWS creds of course the secret key is encrypted um, so let's go back to the template uh, AWS AMI info edit and in the credentials, <clears throat> uh, I am going to populate the Amazon AWS credentials. Select and save. So now I have given it the AWS credentials over here. So now let's launch it again. Uh, now this time it is not going to pull the image it is it is directly going to run the playbook that I have all it is going to do is create that container um, pod and just run things so now you see it was able to pull in the uh, AMI info and everything is fine so let's go to the JSON output and you will see the details of that image over here 
so it used the uh, the uh, custom execution environment that i had created uh, it used the um, the module from that aws amazon collection and um, it was able to run the playbook that i had um, uh, you could create n number of execution environments uh, and then you know add it over here uh, you can create you know different execution environment for different kind of collections that you want to use um, that way uh, you will not you, you know it will give you nice um, uh, a nice uh, hierarchy in terms of what execution environments that you have uh, on aws or on awx um, and then you know you can you can use them uh, accordingly in job templates uh, one job template can only have one execution environment at any given point so you cannot use multiple execution environments over here um, so you need to make sure that you know if your job template is using multiple modules from different collections uh, all of them are part of the execution environment that you, uh, you know the custom execution environment that you create one thing which I wanted to see is what if, if I use the AWX EE is I'm not completely sure if Amazon AWS collection is part of this uh, uh, EE image that we give by default but let's try it there is no harm in trying right so now what I've done is I've changed the execution environment to AWX EE and now let's try to launch the same job template maybe Amazon AWS is part of that EE as well but if not you know it is going to give us an error saying the module not found or you know uh, a similar error message right now it's trying to pull that image um, and then on top of that it will run the job template for us so let's wait for a few seconds maybe um, but this will at least if this fails then you know you would you would you would come to know that you know the custom execution I mean that we created actually worked uh, and you know the job template used uh, that execution environment to run uh, the job itself right now it's just trying to pull that whole uh, e image which is somewhere about 2.5 gb i think the awx e image so now it has done that and uh, now it's running gather facts and it was able to run it so most probably the amazon aws collection is part of the uh, awx ee as well um, which is why it is able to run it <coughs> um, which is which is fine I mean uh, I just wanted to test it um, but yeah this is how you would um, you know create a custom execution environment and run it in AWX um, and yeah I mean that's all I had for this um, you know session um, hopefully um, you know we'll have another session where I will go in details of how to create these execution environments you know how what are different things that you could do while creating the execution environment and how do you check whether your execution environment is fine or not um, but for that we'll have another session because it will require you know um, uh, some more details and some more time so that's about it um, thank you so much for listening to the session